Hey you guys, it's Kyle from Markham Reptiles. I'm here with Dan from Shack Scales. He's got some really cool animals that we're going to check out today, so let's get right into it. Got my tiger rats right here. That's the male. His name's Jigsaw. You gonna let me get you? The other side. Beautiful. There you go. Sometimes they'll bite when I'm going to get them out, but uh, once they're out of the cage, they're chilling. They're big old calibra. Wild caught. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yup, these guys are wild caught. I've had him for like three years. Um, they say another name for him is like a, it's like a thunder lightning snake. So definitely uh, fast. Because they just go ripping through the. Um, very fast. What do they eat? Just rats? Um, mice. Um, like a large, medium mouse. But, uh, you don't want to overfeed them. They get overfed real easy. They yeah, see that guy like a slender keel. body. You want to see that keel um, going down the spine. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, she's in the back. I won't pull her out. See, I'm hoping to produce these guys. It's the plan. That would be so cool. Yeah, it's been done in captivity before, but nobody's really doing it like Look at that. that. Belly. Um, so, so I, I don't think I've wild. ever seen these captive bred. I've seen them for sale. I've never seen them with my eyeballs, like yeah, you person, have? But That's I've cool. seen them on Morph Market for sale. Um, they say you just need a big cage. You can't do it in a tub. These guys need a big cage. They need the hides and all. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty badass. They really are. They almost they're look venomous. Venom, they're fast mm -hmm. and cool, yeah. They do almost look venomous. Like an elaphid or something, right? Beautiful. Yeah, I think he's old, man. They spend a lot of time up in the uh, up in the air, arboreal. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times in the logs and all. I've had him for three years, but his, his eyes got like a cloud to him. I think he's old. That's cool. They have like jet black eyes too. Yeah, these guys are neat. They're not real common. You don't see them that much. No. Beautiful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They'll flatten their neck real tall, you know. Their scales all separate and make themselves look big. That's cool. Almost like a puffin snake. Mm -hmm. A lot of snake with some attitude. That's pretty cool. Excuse me. Oh, so this is Muffin. She's a sunfire reticulated python. Drag her out of here. Beautiful. I know, Huff and Puff. Hmm. Huff and Puff. Big girl, how old is she? So she turned five in November. I've had her five years. February 19th is when I got her five years ago. Oh. Yeah, it's a big snake. She's yeah, a she's big a big girl. girl. Any idea of like her weight or anything? She was, what was she, 86 pounds in September. She had a little lump in her mouth, which was nothing. It was just swelling from pushing. Um, the vet really didn't do anything. They gave me antibiotics. Muffin wasn't having it. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> me and Erica, Erica's my wife, and mm -hmm. she... Um, she never gets hands on with Muffin or anything. She was riding her like a bull. Muffin <laughs> <laughs> Erica's not very big. I was like, you gotta hold her down. Oh, she's a strong girl. Beautiful. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> she was crazy, very defensive for a while. I was watching all the Brian Burchek and Kevin, uh, Kevin Early. from Nerd videos, like how to how to tame a giant retic. Uh, she's going very good. Or how to calm down your baby retic, whatever. But yeah. no, she's awesome, man. She's a good snake. She's super cool, dude. Mm -hmm. We got a rabbit in the sink for her. 
You know, like they say, like, man, snakes just want to get away. Yeah. Uh, like I said, she does do great, but I spend so much... I see I'm going to be like honest, that. this isn't how you keep a big snake, you know? And that's why I do chill with her so much, because, yeah. like, uh, this isn't cool, man, you know? Yeah, so I make sure... I get lots of, um, you out of breath, huh? Oh, yeah, she's a workout I'm dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I worked out once today, but I didn't know I was going twice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's definitely big. Yeah. And I think she looks okay. Size wise. I know there's lots of big ones on the internet and all. Oh yeah, she looks real healthy. Yeah. I'm not into making her big. She is just very big. So yeah, she's about to post up there. That's cool, man. I, if I was you, I'd let her do that too, because it's a, definitely a, a workout handler. Yup, nah. She's a joy to have, man. They're awesome, but they're a lot Absolutely. of they're a lot of work that people don't um I don't think people yeah. understand. Yeah, people don't, yeah. Because sure. she is smart, like, so she went, I mean, she's all now, like, uh, since they have her out a lot, but you don't want her sitting like that. That's kind of, yeah, no tongue flicks, right? That's kind of like, um, almost like a, not ambush, but a little bit of ambush. Like, I'm gonna post up here and see if something walks by. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, she's a cool preview for us because we actually have a young female reticulated python right now. I've seen it. <laughs> it's a, yeah. What is that one? Uh, Lavender Albino. Lavender Albino. Yeah. yeah, actually. I was, I was a crabber, um, and then it was winter time, so I, I got a job as a host at Applebee's. I was like 27 years old or something, uh, and I was getting paid every two weeks. At, bottom line, I spent, I had like 260 bucks. She was 250 shipped. I spent the money on her. I already had the tanking on. I was broke for two weeks. I was bumming money off my now wife. She was my girlfriend at the time. Story to me. Uh, <laughs> I spent all my money on this snake. Um, that's why I got the more. If I did, it was the only one I could afford. And I'm glad for it, man. I love I love this snake. Oh, dude, she seems like she was definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah iridescence on her, too. She's gorgeous. Yeah, she is gorgeous. Yeah, keeping her out of the cage, I think she doesn't get that bed head. I call it bed head. That a lot of big snakes get where the scales are all bent up. She's yeah. got a little bit down there. She looks like she's in real good uh, shape. Yeah, this is my baby. Mm -hmm. I love this snake. She is beautiful. Man, is she gorgeous, huh? They're so smart and inquisitive. She is so smart. Um... And I got her off of like a wholesale, you know what I mean? So I don't know. She was, like I said, she was crazy for a while when I got her. I had to put a lot of time into just for her to, like, if I set her down and pick her up, she'd musk everywhere, bite me and stuff. Oh, that's a pain, yeah. How old was she when you got her? Just a little hatchling. Oh, she, yeah, like, sure. I got her February. She was hatching in November. Cool. So a couple months old. It's real cool. And then, like, I got that free room rabbit. I got hair, rabbit hair on my feet all the time, you know? Right, like, oh, I know yeah. I just pet it, but She knows... She d she seems to know the she difference. She knows yeah. the difference. She's smart. Like, that smells like rabbit, but that's not that's not a rabbit. Yeah. But also, like they say, you never... I just peeped this trust. really cool mirror right here. Yeah. <laughs> that's my closet. Oh, my wife... The bedroom's like my wife's. <laughs> like, I keep my clothes in that closet and stuff. What are you doing? So, who are these people? <laughs> I know, like I said, Brad I don't have any friends. Mom. Nobody ever comes over. Dead. Who are and then when my wife's there? home, the dog um, throws a fit if she's in here with me. So, when the wife's home, um, it's just me. She stays out there with the dog and all. Yeah, what a baby. <laughs> Beautiful. It's been like four weeks since she's eaten. Usually I do like three weeks. I was going to ask you that. But I got a reptile show Saturday. So, uh, and like, I'd like her to be still. If I'm, like, I don't leave the house, you know. I'm always here. So if she's pushing, I have the chance to get her out for even 30 minutes, you know. Uh, so with a reptile show Saturday, I'm going to get her fed and she sh she'll sit still over the weekend. I don't got to worry about it. I see you chilling with her all the time. Man. Yeah, man. These guys are my, uh, these guys are my best friends. Get yourself some snake friends. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm now up to like one and rabbit. I'll put you home and then we'll get you fed. When we feed her, I'll get the cage I'll get the cage light on. Okay. Yep. Put her head right down that way. Sure. I know it's nice not to have to do it all the way by yourself. Yeah, for sure. Coming this way. Cool, baby. Yeah, 
shit is cool. She's not too bad to handle either once you let her do most of the work. Nah, hold on, let me. No, man, she's, um, she's great. I can't wait to have, like, uh, we're planning to buy a house, and I want to know the room I have, and I would definitely want another one. Um, they're so much fun, man. Yeah, they are cool. Let me, uh, I'll turn this light on, and I'll run out there and grab the rabbit. All right, sounds good. Then I'll bring the iguana back in. The iguana lives on that shelf. But, um, it's like, I guess, I mean, since you guys are here, you got to feed her in the cage. I'll get her to come out a little bit, you know? Okay. Nervous at first that so you guys were just picking on me out there, <laughs> manhandling me, <laughs> teasing me. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is cool. Right, she didn't know it'd be dinner. <laughs> she knew what that was the second she saw it. Though. That's awesome. She did good though with like you, you guys grabbing her. Cause like, usually she just does her. I live my life and I, I just step over her. I yeah. just let her live her life. Um, just good to know that she's a good snake with other people Somebody too. Not, she's cool, yeah. I try to be respectful too. Yeah, he's a pain. With the with just being like, oh, let me up. He said, I'm pretty. I'm pretty cool, you guys. Beautiful. Hungry all the time. No food right now, dude. Oh, man. What kind of carpet python is it? He's a caramel. Is he coastal? Um, his mom was a red coastal. I think I believe I got that in my phone. Oh, he's beautiful, dude. How old is this guy? Three years old. I moved in this apartment three years ago <laughs> with Muffin and this scorpion here. No, I got a scorpion in there. And I just, my dad bred snakes though. Yeah. Oh, nice. So when I was growing up, my dad had a snake room. Um, and he sold everything in like 2010, something like that. Um, so yeah, I came, I grew up with this kind of stuff too. But I wanted to have my own space I just, and money, <laughs> adult money. Yeah. Went for it. I think people forget how much of a family business breeding is. Like, I would be honored if, if my kids would pass that down. You know I, what I mean? I always wanted a dirt bike. And then <laughs> I remember being, like, a kid, like, man, I wish my dad was into motorcycles. I'd have a motorcycle. But, like, now I'm grateful that, like, this is the stuff. I, I could say anything. Like, hey, I want this. And he'd be like, yeah, get two of them. We'll try to breed them, you know? That's um, awesome. So I am grateful. But, yeah, when you're little, you always grass is always greener. I always That's wanted true. a dirt bike. Right. <laughs> now I got adult <laughs> money, and I don't care about a dirt bike at all. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I just want more snakes. It's know? funny what sinks in. You know? Yep. Yeah. What matters. That's Priorities. Totally cool. Yeah. No, carpets are great. I saw that video you made about carpets. I mean, he was nippy as a baby. Same as any yeah. other baby snake is going to be a little defensive. Absolutely, um, yeah. And then he calmed down real quick, and... And they're super easy to deal with when they're young. And even, like, adults, they're so manageable. Yeah, man. I have him on my neck all the time when I'm cooking yeah. dinner. He's one of my, like, walk-around-the-house snakes because he cool. likes to stay on me. He doesn't try to, like, get off and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. He's pretty cool uh -huh. with just being wrapped around you and looking around wherever you're going. He has a cool head stamp on him. Yo, look at that gremlin. That's what I think, anyway. That is cool looking. You know, they got the blue tongue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're just... They're... You're a good snake, buddy. Those heat pits, right? Yep. You touched my heat pits. Where's that one? My cat. Um, I know, dude. They're so vocal. Right? <laughs> um, when I worked for Ag that uh, trapping company, um, I got a call in PG County for a, a kitten stuck in a wall, cat stuck in a wall. So I'm like, all right, I can get this cat. Go there, and like I hear the cat meowing and all, and I cut the holes. Um. Cut a hole down here, and I see it's this little kitten. Like, oh, so I go over to where it actually was. I cut the hole. She climbed all the way up to here. I cut another hole. Um, it was little peanut man. She was only a couple weeks old. There was a stray mom transporting babies through the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the uh, stud it was right next to the outlet, so it was only like a four inch gap. Oh um, man, man, she had poop Dangerous, stuck man. on her leg. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and we kept her. I texted the wife and said, you know. I, I sent her a picture. I said, if you don't want the cat, you should probably stay at your mom's until we find a place to live because, like, it's cute as <laughs> Oh, cute as crap. Oh, you need to capture the heart and that's it. 
Yeah, and then she came back and was like, obviously, we're going to keep it. And I was like, I figured you'd So, obviously, this cat is mine. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say no once you meet her. And now, Peanut's like, she's, as soon as you hit the sofa, she's on your lap. She's on my shoulders all the time. Like walking that. around. Yeah, she's so, because you raise her from so little, she's just like, uh, just like up your butt all the time. Yeah, it's, it's clinging awesome. to you. <laughs> yeah. So, we did muffin. She's eating. I'll mess with the light once we get her, uh, let her get started on that. Uh, some isopods. Oh, you you do isopods? Yeah, I do these dairy cows. Oh, dairy cows. Oh, are nice. Right. That's the only ones I do. What's wrong with you, dude? Oh, he's molten. Oh, he's molten. Um, oh look oh, at that. That's goodness. beautiful. Another one of these. Which one is? Well, I know who to come to for dairy cows. Yeah, man. You ever need some? Holler at me. Oh, just drop I'm that. Link one. all your stuff in the uh, description below too. Uh, I guess this is the this is the money log right now. That's where they all want to be. Yeah, definitely. They're neat little critters, though, man. They're like getting uh, out of here. They definitely are hungry and do their job. <laughs> yeah, I mean they Pretty smooth cool. this cork. Well, I just feed them um, fish flakes, which I guess they're empty now. Fish flakes, and obviously eat the moss and the leaves and stuff. So cool. But nah, they're pretty neat. Oh, there's a brand of tomato down at the bottom. Um, oh, I see. They're pretty cool. They don't come out that often. I guess we're special. They're getting a tank like this Saturday. I bought another oh, one of these. Yeah, so nice. this has like the water running down the back. Um, Nocturnal Aquarist on instagram that's who that is nocturnal aquarist and he kills it man those tanks are badass they really are and the bear, 250 i paid 250 bucks for the tank this lid he makes these lids himself um uh, it had all the plants in it but this one i bought this plant myself wow it came with the plants so 250 for a tank a lid a water pump yeah man um you can't even He's losing money over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> he giving it away. <laughs> He's giving these things away. <laughs> this is Camouflage Tams. This was um a rescue from a buddy of mine. It was like his dad's or something. And uh it's coming right they weren't us. Yeah. He's he's awesome. He's a great gecko. Full I personality. Guess. He does look like Jack's boy. Is that your gecko? Yeah, one that looks real, looks real similar to him, yeah. Personality like that and all too? Uh, he's he's not spot. exactly the same. He's cool, though. You can take him. <laughs> for sure. No, nah, Tams is very, um, he's very pretty. He loves to climb out. So cute. Definitely. Come on, cry, baby. I know. Hello. I know. I didn't realize my outfit oh, was going to get upstaged by him. <laughs> and then we keep her. We got, uh, uh, they're out there. We got matching sweaters off of Spark. Oh, that's balls. so cool, dude. <laughs> Don't let you shouldn't have told me that because now we're, our dog's going to be a one. Maybe your style, too. It's like a olive color like that. It is I'm cool, never, man. I'm not making out with you on camera. Say please. <laughs> Say please. This is Tucker, everybody. He's the best boy helper. Yeah, look at his little feet. Mm -hmm. Look at his little feet. I like you. <laughs> what a baby. We're doing snake stuff, bud. <laughs> hey, these are my reptiles. <laughs> so I had um had Pebbles, the other leopard gecko. He just got put down. He's up there in that urn. Um, That was sad, man. Oh, it says Pebbles on it, too. He was like, just... So, and I got a theory, and I could be wrong. Um, He was always hidden. Mm -hmm. Like, his three years I had him, he was always hiding. He was laying out, like, in the open. But being sweet, like, because he'd be sweet. He'd poke his head out, and I could pet his head, like, in his log. But he was, like, laying out in the open. And I honestly believe he wanted a predator to come take him. Mm. Like, mm, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Because it was, like, they usually so him. not like him to be like that. And you got to think, they don't have doctors or anything. Um, I don't know. It was That's just, true. And he wasn't being himself. So then I took him to the vet, and... uh. God, it was a horror. It was horrible. It was horrible. I had to make the call because mm -hmm. they're talking about like running tests or like make the call, and I was like, he's not. I said like I did the oil thing. I, it's not impaction. I hand feed him everything. He doesn't eat yeah. dirt because 
they were, I called it DoorDash. Like, yeah. That's why I told them DoorDash, and I just hand feed them everything. Right. Um. Anyway, they did the necropsy or whatever they call mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He had a a mass growing that would have been inoperable the way it was, and his right. liver was turning black from failure. So mm -hmm. the vet said I made the right call, right. but it still was horrible to hear that. But then, like, he was laying out in the open, like, uh, something come take me, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I'm dying, I guess. Yeah, they're, I the, they're the master hiders. Oh, so, man, you know. it was horrible. I'm, I get choked up thinking about it. That was my buddy. Um, but, like, I mean, yeah, dude, I come in every, every morning. I check my geckos. The frog lights come on of their own. Yeah, that's your new friend, Tuck. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I spend all my time with these guys. So, like, and I don't loot. Nothing dies here. So, like, uh. For one of my main guys, like to die, it was horrible. Yeah, yeah. that's tough, man. It was horrible, Tuck. It's the sad part we get <laughs> to love these animals animal. so much. Mm. How about some cuddles here? Yeah, Tucker is the worst. <laughs> Not the worst. He's the best, but I mean, he is just like uh, up your butt. This is kind of neat. I'll show you this little baby real quick. So, this guy and, for example, this guy are siblings. They've had the same amount of meals. They've been eating. Um, they both started eating as soon as they hatched and everything. This one just came out of such a tiny egg. Mm. I don't know if, uh, and they're both males? Maybe they're right. I think this little one's going to be a female. Um, I haven't popped her or anything just because I'm not that worried about it. And this one, this one's a female also. It's great that she's eating. Um, mm -hmm. Dude, you should have seen her. How many freaking meals she's had, like... That many meals. No, peekaboo. Wow. 21 meals. Wow. Um, some of those were like half pinkies. I was going to ask. Yeah. And because at first I was just doing pinky heads and half pinkies and all. And then like the last four meals have been full on pinkies. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah. So, dude, when she had, she was so crazy small. Now she'll start putting on the size. Like, That's there's cool. no way you're going to live. 21 meals. Yeah, I don't even hold that. You put in the work on her, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Um, let's see, watch out, buddy. This is a, um, this was, like, my biggest accomplishment this year. So this is a Hypo Castagne to Sarah. Beautiful orange. Um, yeah. The stripe is, the to Sarah stripe's awesome, too, on this one. I had two of these and then a normal hypo castagne. Um, the rest of the, it was a hat to hat. So, breed a hat to a hat. Um, I don't know if you know, I'm sure you know this, but then, so, hat to a hat, the babies either show out visible and then the rest would be 66% okay. um, possibility of carrying the gene. For sure. Do they do like shed testing for corn snakes yet? Do you know? I think they do some. Um, I know that they're asking for blood python sheds right now. Yeah, trying to get, are. That's trying true. to update on uh, bloods. Like, I got these three. So, the thing about this snake is, that's a hypo castagne. And here's his dad. I like Whatever, these hats because they're recyclable and you can just throw them away. Yeah, and... if you're about to get a new one, I got a couple saved. Yeah, I just save them like once stuff starts getting empty. That's great. So that is a, I mean, he's a really good looking one. That is a Tessera Castagne. Hypo is going to remove um, the rest of that black, and that's what gives you that baby that's so bright, you know? Yeah, it's so um, much brighter. Yeah. So this is the father to that baby. And Tessera, he happens to have like a pretty white belly, belly yeah. but Tessera. This is a very cool to Sarah I had this year. You have a morph market or something like that? I do have a morph market. All right, we'll um, make that in the description too, so you can check out Shaq, Shaq Scales. scales. Morph market. So this guy's just very red, and not just is he very red. Look at that belly. Wow. On a corn snake. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is super cool. Yeah, I was pretty stoked about him, and he's just he's just very red. So he's a um. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Tessera Castagne, Het, uh, no, Tessera Het Castagne, Het Hypo, because he was, uh, um, 
to Sarah hypo to a castagne to Sarah head hypo. So yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, a little twitchy on this one. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Yeah, some of them, it's funny, they just twitchier than others. It's funny, their dad, I actually, his name was Twitch. <laughs> what I called him. Anytime you touch his stomach or anything, he'd like pop, like pop his body up. He's actually with a, living with a friend of mine. And then here's just a regular castagne. Um... Take her and spin her. Sure. Spin her around. Put her on display. <laughs> Are you gonna dance? Are you gonna spin? But you see all that peach. Um, and that just keeps getting better. I'll show you the mom. Yeah, actually, we'll compare the mom and baby right now. I'm in a tube. <laughs> <laughs> they love those. Yeah. They love the tubes. They love the cardboard boxes. So I can already see the big difference on the belly. Come on. Yeah, you're like, what the heck? So this is mom. That is a castagna. But see how Gracie is down here? Mm -hmm. I wish she'd come out of the tube. You could see the real contrast. Mm -hmm. So that snake is uh, I'm hoping to look similar to the mom. Very cool. But then also, see how the saddles are kind of split with the gray line? Yeah. This baby is a good example of that. That baby saddles will do the same thing. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. They got the split line. See so yeah, a mom and daughter right there. Uh, this is a really good look. She's just a really good looking one, the mom is. Absolutely. Very orange. Um, Dad's a really good looking one too. Cause Tanya, there's a lot to be done with that man. And uh, I plan to do some stuff with it. <laughs> so plan anyway. I don't get too crazy though. I'm not like set out to make any like crazy world first or anything. I just like making cool looking snakes, you know. And that's just a cool looking snake to me. Orange then goes down to like a grayish tail and all. That's just um. The contrast is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Just like that. You know, that's your baby. You hatched that. <laughs> you like me? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my whole back girl. Um, oh, sweet. She's very clean pattern. I mean, yeah, this definitely. one looks really good. The one I just took out. Here's an example of like a, a not so great one. Not that it's not, not that it's not a bad... It's not as saying, clean, right? It's not as clean. Um, Definitely hungry. The orange isn't as bright. There's not as much peach coming in between yeah. the saddles and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. This one is so clean. But that one's just very clean. Yeah, you're totally right. That's a very clean yeah. one. She's extremely shy. She's funny. I've had her, had her for three years. She gets the same handling as everybody else, and she's just like, um, yup, see ya. Doesn't want nothing to do with you. Here's another whole back. Oh, and shed. Beautiful. Of course, of course. That snake is so red. Um, that's a hypo to Sarah Heck Castagne. So not related to my, um. So what I did was I bred Castagne to Castagne, both had hypo, and got the hypo Castagne to Sarah male. Then I bred a hypo to Sarah to a Castagne to Sarah head hypo. Made visual hypos, and um, all head Castagne, nothing visual Castagne. So that's from this clutch. So that way, I mean, they say line breeding. They say somebody said this at a show. It's line breeding when it works. It's inbreeding if it doesn't, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, like, I know you can, but I'm just going to try to keep stuff. Especially, I don't have that much room, and I don't want to start crossing stuff right away. I like to keep stuff spread Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Um, that makes sense. Same, seems the best way to do it. For know? sure, yeah. Uh, breeding siblings together when you don't need to. Look right. at that one. This is a good snake from... Uh, and she shed awesome, 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 and pooped. Very cool. 
you won't see poop in my cages, man. I check everybody before I leave for work. I'm in here for three hours. Well, up at five, I leave for work around eight. And then as soon as I get home from work, everyone's cage gets open. Not like a long handle session, but like, I, dude, it takes, just, you just got to pop the tub and smell for poop, you know, boom, boom, boom. Absolutely. And then I pull the poop out and I chlorhex the area, wipe the area and then spread the bedding back out. And then every so often, like once a month or so, I do complete bedding swaps and all. That's great. And you're using like Aspen chips? I do use Aspen for the corns. Um, yeah, they don't need that much humidity. The carpet right now is on Cypress because it's, it's not as humid in here in the winter. It gets pretty dry in here. Mm -hmm. Summertime, he goes on Aspen. Um. I got a boa in that top rack. We'll pull him out. He's oh, actually cool. on Aspen because it's 80% humidity in there in Sweet. that tub with Aspen. So it just, everyone depends. But yeah, the corns, I keep them all on. Um, this is a Ultramel Annery Red Factor. So camera probably don't pick it up, but all that pink's going to keep, you know, Red Factor keeps increasing. Um, so that should be a pretty cool sneak. That's all cool. stuff. Oh, that guy, this guy's, this guy's hands down my favorite. Look at that snake. Oh, really nice red. These guys him. are siblings. Oh, this guy's a spaz. I'm not a spaz boy. <laughs> so these guys are siblings. Um, Obviously, they're totally different, but, like, he's just very, uh, very nice crisp. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't have him for sale anywhere. I don't know if he's gonna stay here, but I think I'll just like post him last. Yeah, um, definitely. See how, see what he looks That's like. So awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, he came out very clean looking. Cause that's really it. They're all gonna look similar if they're the same gene, but then like you'll just have one that just looks better. Um, just like pick of the litter, you know. You can just see it. Maybe to Sarah hypo. Oh, this is a, um, really nothing crazy. Just a motley, uh, I guess an ultra male. He's got red eyes. He's from an ultra male motley to a motley head email. But he's just, um, compared to his siblings, he was just like really red. Yeah, very red. The nice reddest red of the bunch. Like I said, a lot of them are gone now. Well, I mean, not really. Like, th these are siblings, you know? Um, see so yeah, she's all faded and he's just very solid. I'm so, hoping next year. No these guys will get the job done. This is the male. Um, still a colubrid, not crazy expensive, 200 something dollars, you know? Um, but they're a little crazier. He's being really cool right now. Trust me. They're a lot faster. <laughs> so, what type of milk snake? He's a tangerine Honduran milk uh, snake. Honduran tangerine, cool. Yup. Um, I love these things. So I'm hoping, yeah, you'll swap. Yes, yeah, switch. I'm trying to get away. To I corn. still want to do corns every year. Like I love corn snakes. I think they're great. Um, but I also don't want to, because like it's obviously not about the money, but taking care of seventy seventy dollar snakes is not where it's at either. Right, um, absolutely, because you got to feed them just the same. You got to feed them just the same. It costs the same. Yeah, watch these economy <laughs> racks, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> they flat. get here and then there's a second strip. Are these animal get, plastics too? Uh, these are sea serpents. Okay, sea serpents. Um, but yeah, once they get past the second PVC strip here, I got to pull the whole rack. Yeah, he out. almost made um, a quick dash on me just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've more than once. It's You're right that me. he's not being too spastic, though. He's pretty much chill. Yeah, um, he's pretty calm. I'm gonna do a little comparison. This is a male, also just shed. So that is a tangerine Honduran milk snake. Oh wow, that's beautiful. A hypo orange. is gonna remove the black, most of the black coloring. This is a extreme. Um, this is a extreme hypo tangerine milk snake wow so where his lines are black his lines are silver you that's know gorgeous, uh, yeah and then the orange is obviously a lot brighter that's gorgeous um, like i mentioned orange that's orange is my favorite color so well, that's a good one for your the corns one. and the milks yeah that's right that's where i need to be yeah for sure and the bloods so they get the reds and um no, it's not orange, but I like red too. They're totally underrated <laughs> blood pythons. They're yeah, cool. and they're we'll take mine out. Um, I got one that's a grump, but I think the guy didn't do much handling 
with it the last couple of years. Um, here you want to this guy? Yeah, sure. This is like pretty neat. Yeah, this is super cool. It's like a fake looking snake, you know? It almost does look bright. like, yeah. Like not the brand, but a literal animal plastic. <laughs> she's, um, she's in shed. Is this his sibling, his sister? Not a sibling, but really? it'll be his mate, yeah. Oh, cool. That's, that's, that's from a beautiful They're pairing. from a different clutch. That's even better. Um, it's the thing about those tubes, man. They love the tubes so much, and then you never see your snakes. <laughs> he's, he's one of the first ones I hatched. Oh, cool. So he's a Tessera, Het Caramel, Het Motley, Het Diffuse. Um, a lot of heads. Yeah, a lot of heads. I just... Is that triple F? It's the eager triple beaver. F. Um, I just I grabbed a pair of adults and a group of five babies. And while I raised the babies, I bred the adults two years back to back, just one clutch each year. Um, to kind of learn what I was doing and stuff. Basically, wholesale the babies off. Um, yeah. And then by the time then everyone else, the group of five I bought was big enough to breed. Cool. So. So yeah, yeah he's, he's a powerhouse one, for sure. That's one cool. of my first guys. I'll be breeding. Not yet, but she's at Saffron, so that's an Amel Sun, Amel Sunkissed, and she's got some heads. She's got some cool oranges, oh, too. Her head is very cool. Yeah, she's, I don't know, man, you guys are good energy. These guys are usually a lot, um, certain snakes I'm pulling out are usually a lot quicker. She's not a fan of being held, usually. Well, this guy I'll be breeding this year. So that's a uh, caramel, amel, sun kiss, the saffron, they call that. And he's got like a real white head, you know? Um, in this drawer here, this will be the female he's going with. She's, she's got a straight up yellow head. Um. They're both real pretty snakes, obviously. It does but, have a much wider head. But his head is white, you know? That's crazy. Um, Look at that. So this will be a pairing that you should be looking out for next year. Oh, beautiful. Be hit, they'll be both their first year. This rack real quick. So here's some blood pythons. Cool. This is my pixel. So that is a golden eye. I think they say Batik, B-A-T-I-K. Golden on Batik, and she is 66% um, T negative. She's gorgeous. Yeah, just support them underneath with these guys. And uh, they're kind of like ball that. pythons. They just kind of sit there in your hand, you know? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Same with them, though. You want to see a little bit of a spine. You don't want to overfeed them. Um, then another thing, you don't keep these guys too hot. 83. They're at an 83 hot spot in the okay. back of their tub. Um, she might strike out the phone. I don't care. Just don't uh, just don't drop her. <laughs> yeah, I won't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they like cooler because in the wild, they're going to be like in like low, um, low drainage areas, you know, just like kind of sitting in the mud, a little mucky and moist. Her, her face is gorgeous. Crazy, right? Yeah. Um, she was the first of the three that I bought. Okay. And for obvious reasons, I mean, the pixel, that's, that's an awesome, complex. that's an awesome morph. With them, it's funny, right before they bite, you'll see just the forks. <laughs> just the forks sticking out. And then that's when it's like, no, move your tongue. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've had her the longest of the three. She's a little firecracker when I got her. And then she, as you see, she does fine. It's all time, awesome. man. And it's just, I don't handle them all that much. Um, but also I think me looking at him every day too, like this guy pops up all the time and he doesn't do anything. So, uh, yeah, they, they, yeah. so they get a bad reputation for no reason. Same thing. Just a baby snake's bitey. Just yeah. don't be scared. Absolutely. And if you all perspective, like this T positive, I'll pull out in a second. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pull her out. I don't want to stress her. She bites me all the time, but right. you got out before I pick her up, I'll say, go ahead, grab my hand. Like if you like go into it. Different, like, if, oh, it's a snake bite. Then, like, yeah, you're going to be scared. But if right. my cat, when me and my cat play, that hurts way worse than when they, then this blood python That's tags right, me, right. you know? People and I go into that with that, the man. smile on my face, like, come here, peanut, like, yeah. uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand 
why we get so scared of these guys. Yeah, totally, dude. So that's a pollen, redhead pollen, het T positive. Um, There's so much to be done with blood pythons. They're so cool. Pollen is codon makes a flower. Um, That's the super? Yeah, so flower would be the super. It was a wild caught animal. Don't quote me on any of this. Wild caught animal in 2010 and produced in 2018. So it's a fairly new, um, proven, I mean, proven to be. Oh, that's real cool. A, a morph um, in 2018. So it's a fairly new gene. Um, Juggernaut Reptiles, he's done some cool stuff with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't get to see blood pythons enough. This is a baby. We won't take her out. So we'll just pull her top. See the, see the forks? Yeah. That's a... Uh, no, and now nothing. Yeah, and that is she creeps him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the attentiveness, too. I definitely see it. So that's a... Yeah, she is crazy, She's ready, dude. dude. You watch Rick and Morty? Occasionally. Oh, you ever... Like the song Swifty Get Swifty? <laughs> oh, I named her Swifty because she pooped all over the floor. Um, I got her home. I took her out of the tub. And I'm like, oh, you're so cool. And then like, bam, bam. And I'm like, all right, bro. We were over there. And I'm like, all right, relax. Yeah, immediately. Hit my hand <laughs> twice. And I'm like, all right, relax. I start walking over here. Your eight start rolling across the floor. Three little white balls. And I was like, chill out, dude. I'm holding her. And then brown poop. Her mouth's open. She was just staring at me, like pooping on the floor. Oh, um, wow. What a job. personality. Intense. Yeah, totally right. <laughs> Which, oh, there you go. There you go. There's your... uh. There's our intro uh, oh, right bite, there. right? That would be cool. Edit that in the intro. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. Oh my goodness, is it cold in there? Either this is Is it so cold in there? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh wow. Camouflage. No, you can't. It's cold out here, dude. <laughs> in the lights. He said, please. <laughs> this is Opal. Nice to meet you, Opal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so warm. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So cold. It's your own fault, dude. You want to sit still in there. Christmas tree dinosaur. Which obviously it's no big deal. She can be out here for a little bit. What time is it? Five. She was actually out here for like an hour and a half. Isn't that baby? That's crazy how camouflage she was. Mm -hmm. Come here. Go on to that guy. Yeah. There you go. So I adopted her February 20th. Last year, so I've had her almost a year. She was um very defensive for experience handler only. Really? Uh, you warned her right on, man. Dude, it took no time. Yeah. Um, they don't want to live in a cage. Yeah. They want to live out free room. She yeah. doesn't like the cage. Like they probably have a lot of area that they cover in the wild. Yeah, and well, she, I don't. She does like to roam that room, but like she has her shelf. I don't know what it is, but like once I let her out of the cage, she was like, uh, that changed a lot. Um, yeah, she really is great, man. I don't know. They, they're they like a like a cat and a parrot. <laughs> kind of. That's, that's a good uh, analogy. What is that? A cat? An actual yeah. cat? Yeah. Because like she likes to just post up on her perch, kind of, but mm -hmm. then like. She loves her head scratches. They're very cat-like, too. Yeah, totally. They, they Iguanas love affection. Yeah, very. Dude. That's what's cool. She closes her eyes. You can't hand feed her because she closes her eyes. As soon as your hand goes near her, her eyes oh. close. Like, uh, it's, 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 like, it's frustrating. I got banana. Eat the banana. Uh, just give me a patch, man. It's cool. That's cool, dude. Yeah. And she's not crazy with the tail. Like, I've met some that are... You know, with you. Yeah. Get into the show. She lost the piece of her tail. When I got her, and that's how it grew back. Okay, it's irritating. Yeah, shed is all stupid. I, um, not right now, obviously, but when she does shed, I yeah. have to feel that all. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, she she has some nice blues on her too. She does. Yeah. Um, and right now she's kind of fired down. I mean, sometimes she fires up. Um, very blue and green. Yeah, usually in the morning. Uh, 
God, it's heat. She's out here in the cold. Yeah. Went to sleep in that tree. So does heat affect the color? Yeah, she will change color. So like, if I take her outside, um, these like white tiger kind of markings, they're not white, whatever, lighter brown, they get like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, man. They do, yeah, it's just, it's just like it changes. Intensifies. Just because they're either trying to soak in more sun, trying to harness more energy, or they're trying to, you know, they, that don't makes sense. you know what I mean? Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Like if I take her, I got like a rabbit cage, I put her outside on the table. And yeah, if she's in the sunshine, like she's just like fired up, bright greens, bright, the browns are very like uh, bright. It's pretty cool, man. That's awesome. She's, um, that was an impulse thing. I was like, I wanted an iguana. I always have. And the reptile magazine in like the 90s, I don't know if anyone remembers that, but it's like, uh, it's got like, what do they call it? Mosaics. There's a bunch of little pictures that make a pi big picture, mm -hmm. and it's like a mosaic, but like the, it's an iguana. Yeah. Um, and that was I just a magazine I always remembered from oh, that's a kid. Dope, yeah. This is like a dream animal. Yeah, definitely a dream animal. It's like a staple. Like They're, everyone yeah, had an iguana, totally cool. you know. Um, yeah. And you just gotta let it roam. Like give it, don't lock it up, man. Like uh, yeah. shit doesn't want to be locked up. Yeah. Especially smart stuff like that. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. And she's been great, dude. No, in no time, she was super calm. Total trust climbs down on me all the time when I'm in there. Yeah. Uh, jumps on me. I'll just come walking in. She'll just like leap off the shelf. Like, trust cool. ball, man. Can't, can't <laughs> <do anything." laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. I know, buddy. Um, no, yeah, definitely. Uh, cool. Zero regrets on that one. Yeah, My only regret, muffin like hunts her. That makes sense, though. Yeah. And I didn't think about that at yeah. all. Didn't think nothing of it. Um, when I first shot her, I had her in that cage, and the muffin came out, and muffin started smelling that that black wire cage. Yeah. And she was so much smaller. She sh it was like this bars like this. She shot right through them, and uh, my trash cans are lids that go like this. Yeah. She shot right out of the cage and flew <laughs> in the trash. Can. That's a good hodge. <laughs> it was like <laughs> it worked it out. <laughs> Escape, hodge, duck. Uh, and I was panicking. Yeah, because right. I'm like, okay, I know what's going on. Muffin's hunting her. She's freaking out about it. Um, I went into panic mode, like shoved Muffin back in her cage, got her out, went to Home Depot, bought hardware cloth, and uh, wrapped the cage up and everything. And then realized that wasn't the way either. Um, yeah. I just popped the door, and she climbed up on that shelf, and she made that home. I hooked the yeah. lights up and gave her a cat bed and all. That's so cool. Just wanted to be part of it, dude. I know. <laughs> it's nice to be involved. Oh, I want to involved. be held too. I know. Yeah. What a baby. <laughs> You're the baby. We're not doing <laughs> crybaby stuff, though, right? See, we are. But I'm cute. <laughs> just wanted to know if it's the same thing. Crybaby, dude. This is a prison. I run a. <laughs> I run the hardest prison camp here for these animals. <laughs> Yo, that's what he's really trying to tell you. It's fake. Save us. Save us from this madman. <laughs> yeah, it's just an Asian four scorpion. Okay. Um I guess I'm dogs. Dogs gonna be have to poke around. Right there. Gorgeous. Get close on that, sweetie. The glass probably dirty if you want to come from the top. Yeah, you could. Beautiful. So as you see, usually just black. So that wraps up everything with Dan from Shack Scales. We're going to put all the links in the description below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye -bye.